Hey guys, let's get more news from Steelers, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Pittsburgh Steelers coach Mike Tomlin calls top receivers emotional displays a problem. Pittsburgh Steelers coach Mike Tomlin could do without any distractions as he and his team muddle through an offensive funk that contributed heavily to their three losses in the past four games. But the lack of answers has taken a toll on both their record and on the players, most notably wide receiver George Pickens. Pickens, the Steelers' leading receiver, has allowed his frustrations to show during several games, enough to draw Mike Tomlin's attention. On Monday, Mike Tomlin called Pickens' outward displays of emotion a problem and said he would like the second-year pro to find a different way to vent his concerns. It's a problem because it's not solution-based, Mike Tomlin said during his Monday press conference. You know we are all frustrated, but we got to manage our frustrations in a professional, mature way. The Steelers, who rank 26th in total offense, have failed to score more than 20 points in a game over the same time frame. Last Thursday, Pittsburgh's offensive woes reached a new low in a 21-18 home loss to the New England Patriots. With Mitchell Trubisky making his first start at quarterback for the injured Kenny Pickett, the Steelers mustered only 264 yards of offense. The situation might get worse before it improves. Pickett, who injured his ankle during their Week 14 loss to Arizona, has already been ruled out for Saturday's game at Indianapolis, meaning Trubisky will get his second straight start. Pickens, a second-round draft pick in 2022 out of Georgia, caught five passes for only 19 yards and was visibly upset on more than one occasion during the loss to the Patriots. Pickens' frustration manifested itself both on the field and on the sidelines. On at least one running play, he gave little to no effort in terms of run blocking, and it led to Tomlin having words with his young receiver when he came off the field. The Steelers, who have been searching for offensive consistency all season, fired offensive coordinator Matt Canada on November 21, two days after losing to the Cleveland Browns, 13-10. Tomlin handed the play-calling reins to quarterbacks coach Mike Sullivan, yet the move has failed to jumpstart the Steelers' attack. In the meantime, Pickens, who leads the team in receptions, 49, targets, 84, receiving yards, 767, and TD catches, 5, has gotten more agitated with each passing week. While Pickens has three 100-yard receiving game this season, the last one came two months ago, on October 8 against Baltimore. Despite their recent struggles, the Steelers would still be the number 6 seed in the AFC if their season ended today. After playing the Colts on Saturday, Pittsburgh finished the regular season with games against Cincinnati, Seattle and Baltimore. Steelers sign OLB to practice squad, release RB Kadri Allison. The Steelers announced a roster move on Monday, signing outside linebacker David Perales to their practice squad and releasing running back Kadri Allison in a corresponding roster move. Allison was called up from Pittsburgh's practice squad twice this year, playing on special teams against the Browns and Raiders in weeks 2-3. As for Perales, this will be his second stint with the Steelers this season as he was a member of the team's 2023 undrafted free agent class. Perales was part of the Steelers' practice squad until late October, when he was cut to make room for safety Jalen Elliott, who was no longer with the team. Perales played college football at Fresno State, recording 47 total tackles and 11.5 sacks his senior year. The 6 feet 3 inches, 255-pound defender recorded four total tackles with the Steelers in the 2023 preseason. A productive college pass rusher, Perales rejoins a Steelers outside linebacker room that has some health questions with starters T.J. Watt and Alex Highsmith both in concussion protocol. Due to his prior experience with the team, Perales could be a candidate for elevation to the active roster Week 15 if both Watt and Highsmith miss the game. Steelers considered potential landing spots for three-time Pro Bowl tight end. The Steelers could be a potential landing spot for a former star tight end, an analyst says. As suggested by Brian DeArdo and Cody Benjamin of CBS Sports, the Steelers should be considered a top-five landing spot for free agent Zach Ertz. In fact, they list Steelers as the third-ranked three-time Pro Bowl tight end, behind only the Philadelphia Eagles and Baltimore Ravens. Say it isn't so.
while Ertz would certainly prefer to return to his beloved Eagles, Steelers may be able to offer an even cleaner path to pass-catching opportunities. It would be strange to see him using the star, but with an eye on a true playoff run, why wouldn't the Steelers consider it to provide even more help? Ertz isn't quite the dominant tight end he was in his prime, he once recorded a record 116 receptions for a tight end, as well as 1,163 receiving yards and eight touchdowns during the 2018 season, but he can still be an asset. Viable as secondary. Option. Although he recorded just 27 receptions for 187 yards and one touchdown in seven games with the Arizona Cardinals before his quadriceps injury in October, it wasn't long ago that he posted a productive season-long campaign. He posted 74 receptions for 763 yards and five touchdowns during the 2021 season. In fact, he recorded 40.6 receiving yards per game and a 68.1% reception rate during the 2022 season, marks very similar to his 44.9 receiving yards per game and a 66.1% catch rate during the 2021 season. While the Steelers don't need a starting tight end, they could use another receiving option at the position. Tight end Zach Ertz was released by the Arizona Cardinals this Thursday, 30, according to J.J. Watt, former franchise player and current CBS sports analyst. The information was confirmed by the team via social media shortly after the news was released. According to Watt, who was a teammate of the TE in Arizona, the release came at the request of the athlete himself, who wants to join a title-favorite franchise to win his second Super Bowl ring. However, the player will enter the NFL's waivers list and may have his wish frustrated if a team with lesser aspirations for the season takes over his contract. Ertz began his career with the Philadelphia Eagles after being selected in the second round of the 2013 draft. With the franchise, the player won the NFL in 2018, being an essential part of the attack, especially in plays in the red zone, where he completed 38 of the 46 receptions of his career. The athlete moved to Arizona in 2021 and has not been achieving the same success as he had at his peak with the Eagles. After his 2022 year ended with a knee injury, Ertz returned this season with the lowest numbers of his career, having 187 yards on 27 receptions and a touchdown in seven games played. Furthermore, the tight end gained competition in the position with Terry McBride gaining more space in the attack. The sophomore has 521 yards on 48 receptions and a touchdown in 12 appearances this season. If Ertz is released from the waiver list without a team taking him on, the Philadelphia Eagles emerge as a likely destination. And you fan, what do you think of the Zach Ertz situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.